Little fun fact. This next phone tab actually aired on Good Friday. Don't answer the phone. Elvis, Elvis Duran, the Elvis Duran phone tab. Scary. Yes. What's the phone tab all about? So Abby had a huge catered party this past Sunday for her family, and she came to work on Monday complaining to her co-worker Greg about how awful it was. So she left messages for the catering company, and, uh, you know, they never called her back. So Greg thought I should jump in and pretend to be that guy. So you're the catering guy. Yeah, catering guy. Catering guy, scary. Let's listen into his phone tab. Here we go. Hello, Abby speaking. Abby? Yes? This is Willow from East Nisa uh, Catering. How are you? Oh, well, um, thanks for calling me. Um, your catering delivery from yesterday was abominable. Out of control. I'm uh, to thank you so <laughs> much. That means a lot to us. You know, we pride ourselves on our cooking. No, and, no, no, uh, no, no, my friend. No, my friend. It was bad. It was awful. What? This was my big dinner. I had 25 people over at my house. Right. And your guy comes, doesn't set up any of the plates, doesn't lay any of the things, doesn't lay water, and he just drops it out of my front door. Doesn't bring Whoa. in... What was um, he supposed to do? I would assume a delivery man bringing catering is going to at least set up the burners and set, set some stuff up for me. What? No, this isn't a restaurant. I mean, he's not a waiter. He's there to deliver you your food. Well, with all due respect, I've done this from many places. I've had many catering come to my house, and I always have a delivery guy set things up. I've never had an issue. So the first time... We've been business since 1924. We've never had this kind of a complaint before. You know? Maybe. Well, you know what, my friend? If that was the only thing, I'd be okay. But it wasn't. You're... Got yeah. delivered to my house. Okay, I, I, was... prefer, I prefer you uh, tone it down a little bit, okay? Who the f are you, you pencil? But insult me. I'm not insulting you. Insult you. I'm not me? insulting you, but you're cold. You're coming at me here. You're coming I'm at me. I'm coming at you. You didn't do your job, and I want my money back. Do you understand? Okay. I ordered, well, okay, then I maybe don't... your guest should go regurgitate the food, put it into a, a vomitorium, and then deliver it back to me. Because with all due respect, they almost did. I had a lasagna. The bottom was completely burned off. I ordered stuffed shells, and the guts were falling out of them. It was disgusting. An entire sheet of eggplant parmesan did not even show up at my house. I am I'm catering to 25 We were out, we were out of the eggplant. You, you know? don't want to call me and tell me that? We didn't charge you for it. I don't give it. I still have people to feed. And you throw in a plate of Jamaican jerk chicken? I'm serving Italian. I gave you jerk chicken? You gave me a sheet of jerk chicken. That was a mistake. We didn't charge you for that either. So you owe me thirty nine fifty for a tray of that. Oh, you have balls, my friend. Balls. I don't know how you've been in business for so long. What do you mean how we've been in business? The food was either burnt or cold. Or you didn't bring it. Do you know how meatballs have won us contests? I mean, I don't have a contest you win. You're trying to deliver to my house and get it the right and you can't do it. I don't care about what you want. I don't care about you are unprofessional. You know, I'm going to charge your credit card for the jerk chicken. You are not going to charge my credit card. Yes, I am. I'm going to charge it. I'm on that payment. I am putting a stronghold on that payment, and I am bringing your company down. No, you're not. Who are you? You're not. You're you not. No. Go, apologize. Refund I'm supposed to kiss your ass because of your incompetence? No, because you burned the trail of lasagna? How do you know it was up? Get off your ass. Send me jerk chicken to an Italian order. What's wrong with you? Can you send a napkin and a fork and a spoon or including just send me four? Four? We said forks plural. We never said how much we were going to give you. Oh, come on. Don't put it with me. What Maybe you should have upgraded to the premium platinum party plan. You get more cutlery with those. I don't want more cutlery. I want what I ordered. You did what you felt like doing. And then you dropped it off and you ran away like a dog with their tail between their legs because you knew you did a bad job. No, we didn't do but a bad job. Not we didn't there. do a bad job. And plus, my guy said that they had to walk up three flights of stairs. Hey, what do you want? Let me grab and kick your ass and get out of your car myself? I work for you. You know, not for nothing, but that could have helped. That could have helped out a little bit. I'm coming down there with my brother later on. You don't know who you're dealing with. I want to let you know that you've just been phone tapped. What? <laughs> you've been phone tapped. It's Gary Jones from Elvis Duran in the morning show. Oh. Uh, your whole uh, office is playing a joke on you. Oh, you. You. Getting ready? <laughs> oh my god. And your boss set you up right there, Greg. Right? I'm sorry, I couldn't help it. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> you got quite a mouth on you. Oh my god, I'm mortified. <laughs> wow. Scary got her really riled up. That was great, Scary. She was pissed oh my off. Goodness. Finally found someone who curses more than Danielle. <laughs> she was crazy. That's a lot of a lot of beeps. <laughs> All right, there you go. That's the whole point of the phone tap. Irritate the living hell out of someone. And it worked. <laughs>
Drink for an hour. Permission granted by all participants. <laughs> Elvis Duran and the Morning Show phone taps. Bringing families together. While tearing their homes apart. <laughs>